chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been long to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh I decided I was hungry, and Calvin decided it was time for churros. Okay. So we're getting some churros. I kind of look up, they have it on like, uh, oh, I forget what website it is, but they have a website where they listed all of the holiday stuff that they have here that is seasonal only at Disneyland and California Adventure, and I got to look at that to see exactly what I wanted to try. There were tons of good stuff on there, and a bunch of them were like different um, versions of churros that were like, had different flavors or different toppings and stuff, so... I gotta see which one of those I want to try. Um, but for now, it's function over fashion. I'm hungry. Oh, it looks like it. Oh, please, these, these taste better than the last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, well, this is where we got the ones that tasted better. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is where they fixed it? Yeah. Okay. Cal wants to ride. Casey Jr.? Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind that one. The line's not that long. We could probably do this next. Yeah. Yeah, we could do Well, that. we gotta eat the church. Well, yeah, but I mean, yeah. Hey. These are way better than the last one. At one time? Yeah? This is what they're supposed to taste like. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. This is good. How do you I like could, your churro, Abby? I could eat these all day. They're like over and over. Mm. Oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it is. And you guys are taking too long to eat yours. I saw dibs on Abby when she doesn't finish it. I would call dibs on Cal, but I think he just finished it. No, uh, he don't kill his. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wonder how many of these they sell a day. A million. Now, I wonder if they... They like determine if there's a certain number, uh, right? I of how many? Yeah, you did. Of like, like oh, we sold 15,000 churros today. It's like, oh, that's how you know it was a busy day, as opposed to like, oh, yeah. it was a 5,000 5, churro day. Oh, that's not that. That's not this. That's not that. Or they compare it and be like, we sold like 10,000 churros. Like, oh yeah, well, we sold 11,000 turkey legs. Yeah, like, is it a competition is between that and like? popcorn buckets or yeah or is it there's something like folklore like oh there was one day when we sold oh, yeah. 50, oh, I remember I remember the weekend of this churro extravaganza or or the churro shortage like yeah. what happened <laughs> we're out of churros <laughs> the churro emergency if they run out of churros that would be an emergency
Mm. Now, as they say to the animals, that's the end of the lion. <laughs> Fantasy land. What's that other ride? The storybook? For, like the boats? What's that one called? Storybook something? Storybook something? Yeah, anyways, whatever that ride is where they had the boat. Um, the houses and like the castles in that were all decorated like Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah, like, they had like garland around the houses and like wreaths on the door and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It is cool. I think we might have to go on it so that way we can. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Knowing we're gonna be here for four days, mm -hmm. three days here and one day California Adventure, I think it really helps to not feel like rushed or like missing out on doing something because we have more days to do it. Like our past few trips have only been like two days. And so it's like you get one day at each park. You have to yeah, try to fit everything in, yeah. So. Yeah, having more time definitely helps. That. Yeah. If you see the picture down right there, you see how you have the thing coming up in the middle? Yeah. See, that's what that is. You can see it down there. That was one of, when we went to Disney World last time, that was one of my favorite rides. The Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, the one that they're building right there. some bad luck today. There's been three different rides that we've gotten in line for and then they've broken down. Uh, go get a gadget. Go go gadget. I don't even know what it's called. But the roller coaster in Toontown was one of them. We were in line for our second time but still we were in line for that. And then we got in line for Thunder Mountain and then that one broke down and then we were in, in line for Jungle Cruise and then that one broke down. So Good thing we're here for more days. <laughs> um, but when we were in line for Jungle Cruise, we ordered lunch for the kids to be picked up at 11.30, which was about when we would be getting out. Um, and we got some mac and cheese and turkey sandwich shopper uh, from Jolly Holiday. Um, and then since that didn't pan out, John and I went and got some food at the <clears throat> pavilion area that used to be like the Oasis, Aladdin Oasis area. Um, across from or like right next to the tiki room and we got some lumpia and some bao we got the vegetable bao um, and it was delicious 
not big enough, of course. Um, those snacks are always great to have, but then they're never enough to like really get you full. But it was a nice little treat for us to have. Um, and then we came down to Main Street. It's almost time for us to need to cover our um, strollers because it looks like it's going to be raining soon. But we're just going to look through some stores and kind of kill some time before it's time to pick up the kids' lunch. And then John and I are going to look at some more treats and stuff and see what else we want to order um, for food here. I told him, I was like, I want to try different stuff this time. I mean, there's great things and we know what we like, but it's like we always get like pizza and pasta, which is great. They have so many good things here. And so my goal is to try something new every day. Um, Preferably every meal, but we'll see, so. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree so let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. forecast off and on definitely for the next two days kind of like for the rest of the week which is a bummer but but not a dream killer so to speak but we found this really nice spot under one of the eaves here on Main Street and we've been getting the kids food we got their lunch we've been eating it um, John and Calvin are picking up what John and I are gonna share which is a spicy meatball sandwich from the refreshments corner we kept calling it Casey's Corner um, and then we couldn't find it on the mobile order menu and then we're like, oh, duh, Casey's Corner is what it's called at Magic Kingdom in Disney World, so, whoops. But um, anyway, so we're getting the sandwich and we're probably just gonna stay here and eat it um, while we're protected from the rain. And then we're gonna try and decide which rides to ride next and focus on ones that have queues indoors or covered. So like Space Mountain, Rise of the Resistance, mostly. Uh, Star Tours kind of, so the one, you know what I mean, the ones that are like indoors. So we'll probably hit some of those up this afternoon. Um, I don't I don't think we're gonna push too hard today, because we do have three more days here um, at the parks. Uh, we definitely wanna get the most out of today. So trying to stay dry and eating some more food. I thought you wanted to get the one with the blue, but you went this one. Oh man, that's a big cookie. <laughs> All right, and then Abby 
That's a sugar cookie, right? Yeah. And you got, what's this? Um, my seed. What? Oh, can I eat in the middle? The like, chocolate? Yeah. On the, oh, that on looks the good. And then, is this, is this raspberry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For you, yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. So say, you got that one. And then, yeah, and then I it for you. I got the... Uh, peppermint cookie. Alex. I didn't know they were cookies. I didn't either, but... I thought they were like little pies. They look like they're cookies, little pies. <laughs> how's that what cookie, day? bro? What's today? What? How's that cookie? She rang the doorbell again. Abs, how's that? Is it good? Oh, is there caramel in there too? Oh, yeah, yeah there is. Oh my goodness. So we got rained on pretty good on our way, like after lunch. We decided to head over to Galaxy's Edge. And the plan was to hang out in Rise of the Resistance line for, it was like two hours, I think. When we got there, the queue was actually like past the queue and everything. And we're like, well, that's all in the wet water. And so, we ended up going over to Smuggler's Run, which turned out really good. It was 90 minutes, and then we, uh, John and I were able to dry off while we were in line, which was nice, because um, we got pretty wet on our way over. Um, and it was raining like the whole time that we were in line, so it, was a, it worked out really well to be able to avoid a lot of the rain. And we just got off, and the rain stopped. Um, but unfortunately, another casualty of our bad luck today, um, Rise of Resistance is now down, and so, that's off the table for right now. Um, but uh, we were checking the lines, um, the wait times, and they found out that there isn't a big wait for Big Thunder Mountain. Um, and so we're gonna try that again. And hopefully it doesn't break down again. Because <laughs> last time it was shut down, it was so sad. But last time it was Thank goodness for the stroller covers. It's raining again. And it was, and then it, and it was a 30 minute wait at first, and then six, and now it's 50. Yeah, we got here and the, uh, the line was 60 minute wait. But we couldn't not. I mean, we tried already and it didn't work, and we're here. What else are we gonna do? So we're in line. And then as we were in line, it started to rain. But we had our treats from earlier, um, and it's gonna be a great story. <laughs> um, well, not the bit, the greatest story, like the time we were at Epcot and we were at a restaurant, we weren't thinking. Didn't think it was raining, but it was actually pouring. And I was the one who got to, to get soaking wet because Dad and me were wearing shorts. That's right. And my legs were. When we were at Epcot last time and we came out of the restaurant, but we hadn't put the covers on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. We waited there forever and then we gambled. Yeah. Like to try to make it because it like started dying down a little bit. And then we gambled wrong. Like, try to make it back. Yeah. I think by the time we got to the buses, it had stopped raining. <laughs> well, I think you wait also. What the heck? Wait, not the buses. Oh, to our car, oh, that's car, right. Yeah, we, um, I think we also got to a certain point that we were just so wet that it didn't even We were like, eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's true. But it wasn't really cold. It wasn't a cold wet. It was just. No, oh. not like this. No. This is a cold wet. This is a cold wet. There, it wasn't cold wet. It was like, oh man. <laughs> But, yeah, but it, it was the end of yeah. It was the end of the day, so I was like, sure, why not? I think we were in flip flops too, so like, what did it do? Oh yeah, matter? I didn't really wear. I know I was wearing. Yeah, yeah, so. Like, what is it? It's 54 degrees. Yeah. Five years ago, when I was still living in California, that would have meant no way. 54 degrees, like. Wearing yeah, I know. I I'm not that brave. I'll, I'll go out and play out at recess and just do any taking short sleeves. Like, even even when it's like in, in the 40s. Like, I don't know how he's my son. I don't wear jackets, but that's because I'm vain 
and it's inconvenient, <laughs> but I still freeze. Cause I'm like, I'm only going from the office to the car, the car to the office. Like why? It just takes more time as I'm trying to get in the car to get everything in the car. It's switch. <laughs> True. Make me walk to work. <laughs> what is it like? 20 miles? 15? Yeah. Yeah. 10. Uh, it's like a mile there, a mile back. No, 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 no for me. Oh, for you. Wow. I think miles. it's about 10 miles. <laughs> Yeah, you know. That that's the story would be like walking uphill both ways type of thing. So anyway, we're gonna do Big Thunder Mountain and we're trying to figure out dinner, what we wanna do. Now because we are staying at Paradise Pier, we can mobile order stuff from downtown Disney and they'll deliver it to the lobby of the hotel, which is something that we might do if there's something on downtown Disney that we wanted to get. Um, and also the um, cast member at the hotel said that there was a really good viewing area for the fireworks so i think we might try the fireworks from the resort um tonight and just kind of like see what that's like because we have two other days at disneyland in our trip and those two days are actually forecasted to be nicer weather than this so we'll probably last longer in the parks um because we usually do open to close but or almost close anyway um but we're gonna get through this ride and decide on dinner and go from there maybe the kids will get wet enough that they will want to go back. I may or may not be enforcing them under the umbrella for that reason. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you're smiling, you're smiling, the whole world smiles. made it back to the resort it's about five o'clock um today was it was interesting it was very wet um cold but still still awesome um i mean john said it i mean it could be worse we could not be here and so um some of the rides we want to ride obviously were broken down but we still were able to get on some of the ones the kids really liked thunder mountain they had this thing going where um they tried to keep their hands up the whole time and Abby did it the whole time. Calvin did it 90% of the time. The last little stretch, he didn't. I think that last dip was a little bit too much. But um, they both had been wanting to ride that ride all day, so I'm glad they got to ride it. Um, true to my word, we tried new things. We had a spicy meatball sandwich from the refreshment corner um, at the end of Main Street, and it was really good. I really liked it. Um, I would definitely order it again. It was very big. Um, John and I split it and it was it was enough. It's possible that it's just because we had a snack beforehand, but I don't think I would have been able to eat the whole thing. So I'm glad that we, um, we split it. And then um, because of the situation, because of the wet, because of the cold, um, and the kids agreed on something, we decided to get Earl of Sandwich for dinner again tonight. But like I promised, I tried something new. I got the chicken avocado chipotle sandwich um which was different interesting but it was also good to be able to to try something new and now there's another option for when i go um to earl next time but we are going to dry off as you can see we are a bit wet <laughs> um all of our shoes and socks are soaked through um there were some pretty gnarly puddles on the way back so we are airing out drying out and getting ready for tomorrow tomorrow is california adventure um, park opens at 8 so we're gonna be there for a rope drop again um, and we only have one day in California Adventure this time so uh, we're gonna try and squeeze it all in one day which usually isn't a problem we love California Adventure but there's not as much stuff to do so we can squeeze it in usually pretty good um, but until then I'm saying good night we're gonna finish eating dinner and eat all of our yummy snacks and we will see you tomorrow Bye. Bye guys!